It is no surprise that when it comes to indoor cycling bikes, Peloton is often at the top of the conversation. Of course, I do offer bias with my statement, being a Peloton customer myself since January of 2020. So in a nutshell, what are some of the biggest differences between Stride and Peloton? Aside from the price difference of the bike itself, as well as the $10 less per month membership fee than Peloton's, the biggest difference between these two bikes is how they source their classes. Peloton's classes are all streamed live from their company studio or, due to recent times, live from the instructor's homes. Stride, on the other hand, partnered with five of the country's most popular cycling studios to bring those classes available to you through their membership. Thus, you are getting a variety of instructors, teaching styles, and company quote-unquote values. This is not to say that you can't get the same variety with Peloton, as I believe you most definitely can, but Stride gives you a taste for multiple boutique cycling studio styles. Now for a few details on the bike itself. This bike retails for $1,550. Appearance-wise, it resembles that of the Peloton. Its footprint is 4x2, which is also the same as Peloton. It has a welded, powder-coated steel frame. It weighs 135 pounds, with 125 pounds attributed to the frame and 10 pounds attributed to the tablet. This is also the same as Peloton. It has a magnetic, micro-resistance system with 100 levels. Currently, Stride Bike is $345 less than Peloton's base model bike. Peloton recently dropped the price on their base model bike from $2,245 to $1,895. Stride Bikes cost is 80% that of Peloton's, so if you are looking for a bit of a discount on a similar type offering, this bike may be for you. One feature right off the bat that sets Stride Bike apart from Peloton is the fact that their tablet operates on an open platform system. This means that you are able to download and use third-party apps that are accessible via the web browser. Stride's pedals are SPD compatible and also include toe cages, meaning that you can use regular shoes if you don't want to purchase separate spin shoes with cleats. In contrast, Peloton's pedals are Look Delta compatible. So you may be wondering, what is the difference between SPD and Look Delta cleats? SPD cleats are designed to be small, simple, and will clip into the pedals of nearly all indoor cycling bikes. In contrast, the Look Delta cleats feature a three-hole arrangement that is also adjustable. The Stride Bike also comes with an included tablet with a screen size of 21.5 inches. The bike comes with free shipping, which is pretty standard across all brands. There is an option for white glove delivery or you can assemble it on your own. It takes approximately 40 minutes to set up and they do recommend two people for assembly. It has a one year warranty with limited labor and parts as well as a 30 day return policy. On their site, they mentioned that they partnered with one of the world's leading fitness manufacturers for those curious who the top fitness manufacturer could potentially be, according to thomasnet.com, Brunswick Corp, located in Lake Forest, Illinois, is listed as the largest fitness and gym equipment manufacturer with an estimated annual revenue of $4 billion. On the graphic, they are emphasizing that while the bike parts are at a similar cost to their competitors at roughly $850, strides, expenses, and profit are also lower, thus passing the cost savings on to the consumer. Now regarding classes, they've partnered with some of the most popular instructors and boutique studios across the country to deliver the broadest selection of classes streamed directly into your home. Currently, Stride has partnered with five studios located in the following cities. High Ride Cycle in Denver, Colorado, Vibe Ride in Atlanta, Georgia and Detroit, Michigan, Ride House in Dallas, Texas, Red Bike Studio in Miami, Florida, and City Cycle in Seattle, Washington. Now regarding membership, their membership is $29.99 per month, $10 less than Peloton's membership of $39.99. As with Peloton, there is also a leaderboard system so you can see how you rank in terms of performance during your ride. Up until now, a few Peloton competitors included the Nordic Track Studio Cycle S22i bike with a retail price of $1,999. Echelon's EX5 bike with a retail price of $1,239. The Kaiser M3i indoor cycling bike with a retail price of $1,995. The Bowflex C6 bike with a retail price of $950. And lastly, the popular Schwinn IC4 bike with a retail price of $799. 
Only the Nordic Track and Echelon Bike include a screen that rivals Pelotons. The remainder three require that you provide your own tablet for streaming classes. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe if you like content like this. I will continue to make cycling related videos. Leave a comment down below if you have any ideas for future video topics that you'd like to see me cover or any new bikes that are coming out. I wanna thank the person that left a comment regarding Stride Bike as I hadn't heard of this company before. I'm really glad that I dove into it and compared the differences between this bike and the Pelotons. So I hope this video was helpful. Anyways, with that being said, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.